Welcome back. Today at Super Magnet Man, we're going to be doing a video about how to build your own Super Magnet magnet pickup to pull up nails and everything. If your parking lot is like most, I, this is a just a little cup of material that I picked up and I just made two passes. Uh, oh, this was several months ago, but I made two passes in our parking lot about a month apart and collected this much debris. Guess where this, this stuff ends up? In your tires. And we've had several flat tires around here. I personally have had three flat tires in the past two years. And so one of the things I wanted to do was make a really good super magnet pickup. Well, the first thing people think about is they can go to the hardware stores and they can pick one up. Most of the ones that I have seen in hardware stores have ceramic magnets as opposed to the super magnets. And being super magnet man, we want to make one out of super magnets and we're going to show you why we would use super magnets. Ceramics are naturally cheaper, but do they do as good of a job? This is a four by one by one. And I have a stack of styrofoam here that I'm going to make and get us a gauss reading three inches away. It's three inches from top to bottom on this. So let's put this on top of the ceramic. And when we get our reading at three inches away, we're getting 47 gauss. Now for those that have worked with magnets before, you know that it takes about 50 gauss to pick up basically a paper clip or a small nail at that distance. Whatever distance gets you to 50 gauss, 50 gauss is enough under the right circumstances that it can lift it up. So we barely, at three inches away, that magnet would pick it up. I also have a two inch cube in ceramic, and so I'm going to put this on top of the two inch cube ceramic magnet, and we're getting 67 gauss on the top of this. Now let's take a look at what a Neo magnet can do. This is one of our Rect 3125 magnets. It's an N50 and it is three inches long and one and a quarter inches deep and one inch wide. So we're going to mount this inside of a pipe in a few minutes, but let's see what its gauss reading is three inches away. Three inches away from this one, we are measuring 154. So you remember the other was 67. 67 to 154. This can pick up with a lot more force at the same distance as the ceramics. And we're going to try and design this so we're nowhere near that far away from what we're trying to pick up. We're going to try and make it so that the magnets are about one inch away. And so if you get one inch away from the magnet, we're at 1130 gauss, which has given us a very powerful magnetic field that can hopefully dislodge debris and we're going to give you an example of what that would look like. To do a little demonstration of this, what we're going to do is take the debris that I have collected and we're going to pour it out. We want to see how well it would pick up with the different magnets. So we started out with a stack of styrofoam here that gets me four inches above the material. I'm going to put the magnet out here and this is that four by one by one ceramic and at four inches you can see it's picking up nothing. Now we're going to take one of these away and reduce it to three inches. We get to three inches, nothing. Now we're going to take it down to two inches. Put the same magnet on, come over it, and at two inches you can see it picks about half of it up. We would actually have to take it down to one inch away to pretty well pick up most of this. And one of the things to remember is as the debris is accumulating, it is increasing the distance and it's weakening the magnetic field for anything else. So we pull the magnet away and now we're going to try the same thing with the 2-inch cube ceramic magnet. Now we're testing the 2-inch ceramic magnet and let's see what it does. This is a 2-inch cube and at 4 inches away you can see it begins to pick up something but just a little bit of it. All right, now we'll drop it to three inch gap and it doesn't, I had to tilt it down a little bit and it picked up most of the rest of it. Now we go down to two inches and at two inches it's still not getting everything because it's completely covered and the magnetic field has been significantly reduced. So now let's try the Neo magnet. Now we're going to see what happens with a super magnet. 
And so as we get it down to four inches, you can tell quite a difference with how it did at four inches. Then we take this down to three inches and you can see we're almost getting everything up. If we go to two, well, matter of fact, we did pick up almost everything. And at two inches, we should be getting most of the rest of this. I think that one piece may not be actually magnetic, but this is. We're getting all of this up. And so you can tell the difference. If you're wanting to pull the material out of the ground and you're wanting to pull it away from wherever it might be trapped, you want to use a super magnet. So that's why we're going to make our project out of a super magnet. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to use is a piece of two inch PVC pipe. I've already marked the center of it and this is about 19 and a quarter inches long. It was just a piece that we had and I said well I'll just turn that into our magnet pickup. And we're going to start with this magnet first but I want to put this magnet in. I made a couple of brackets that are wooden that'll just help me hold this in place and I can slide it into the pipe like this and they will make sure that the magnet stays at the bottom. All right. Now I want to make sure that I push the magnet to the center. I also want to make sure that when I put in the next magnets they don't crush each other so I'm putting in a wooden spacer then two styrofoam one inch spacers and another wooden spacer. I'll do the same from the other end. I have all of these lined up and we'll just push this together. Now I want to make sure I move that magnet to the center. And so the nail tells me where the center of the magnet is from the outside. So I can just push this until it gets pretty close to my little black dot there. Now we are pretty close to the center. So I'll take the nail away and we're ready to add the next magnet. Notice that I keep the magnets a long ways away from each other. So my second one comes in here and I, you can tell it's already making that move. I'm now going to put this on so that I can line this second one up and I want it to be pointing down. Now that we have these aligned up, I got two in there, we're going to put the third one in. And what we're trying to do is remember to put the polarity right. <clears throat> the one in the center has the south pole pointing down, north is pointing up. This one is going to need the north pole pointing down. That way they're going to attract each other and create a loop in between which increases our magnetic pull force. And so I'm going to set it in here and put the spacers on here to hold it in place. And now it pulled itself in, wood, and then my styrofoam on this end. And we're going to center this up now. Make sure we get it pretty well centered like this. Now it's time to put the end caps on. The end caps I have made, they're just standard two inch end caps. I drilled a hole in the center. I've made a steel bracket that allows me to have a little bit of adjustability in here. And, and we think this is about the right place as to where we want it to be. And this will go through our axle, which is just going to be a big uh, bolt that we're going to use. And I can just slide this on. I made this so I'd have a direction that I could pull this and pull it around behind me. So we'll put the first end cap on like this. And remembering I'm wanting to make sure this is the top because that is the strong side. That's the side I want doing the pickup. As you can tell with this large bolt here, I want that kind of an impact on it. All right, so I've got that on. I've got one more piece of styro to put here and slide this cap on. Now we have ourselves a magnetic pickup, but we want to make it easier to use. So we're going to put these wheels on here now. Now we're ready for the most important part, the wheels, the wheels that can make this easy to operate. I got these wheels at just Harbor Freight. They've got them in all different sizes and shapes. They're only about $7 a piece. And so I thought that would be a good one to use for this. And I got these large bolts, get these from Home Depot, slide it through. Now I'm going to put a few spacers on here to make it so that I can make sure this nut is not uh, going to rub the wheel. And so I put this in, slide this washer on, 
and we'll spin the nut on and then we'll be halfway ready. The adjustability on the slot would allow you to be able to raise and lower it. If you're in higher grass and trying to pick it up and pull it through the higher grass, you may not want it dragging the ground. It might be harder to pull. And so you could raise it up and try and catch the debris that way. If you're with lower cut grass, you might want to make sure it's all the way down. Or if you're on a parking lot, for instance. All right, so we'll tighten this up in a minute. And now we'll do the other side. And let's see what it looks like. So, this is what it's like assembled, and we've got it so that when we pull, it follows along, and you notice how this magnet assembly is hanging down. This gives us a little bit of flexibility when we are actually using it. It's easier to turn and rotate and go back in the other direction. So now, it's time to put it to the test. Let's go outside. And it's a beautiful day, so why not spend it outside cleaning up a little bit? So we're going to roll this down. All right. So now that we've been out here for about 15 or 20 minutes walking this back and forth, let's see what we have picked up. And you can see we have found quite a bit of, in, of debris that is stuck to this. Some of it I heard when it clicked, and the rest of it I did not hear. I had no idea we had gotten this much off of here. And we thought it would just be interesting to see everything get picked up at one time. This is everything we had, plus what we collected today. And as we roll over it, you see it has gotten everything that was magnetic. This little piece of wire in here is not magnetic. You see how well this works. So if you don't want to have a cup full of this iron waiting in your parking lot to find its way to your tire, you might want to check on having something like this to help clean it up. Now, every time I do things, I always like to reverse engineer it and say, what could I do better? Well, one of the things that I think that, that quickly became apparent to me in moving this is I really needed a metal yoke that would come together like this and give me one handle. So it might look something like this. And then I've got one pull handle. And with a metal frame, it wouldn't wiggle around on me when I'm going downhill as, as much as this one did. And it might give it a little bit more stability. Another thing that you might think about is, well, once you collect all this, it's kind of tedious and takes you two or three minutes to peel it off by hand. So you might want to look at making a way to make it so it removes it. And one of the ways that you can do that is we could take a part of a larger piece of PVC pipe and like this, have this pipe sitting in it, and you might have a little strap that runs over and attaches that in place. Now everything is going to stick to this, and then all you got to do is drop that one piece off or slide it off, and then everything will slide off of it and remove it. The magnetic force from the magnets to the ground wouldn't change. You would just add a little way of removing it. And some of the other ways that we've come up with is I've made this one before as a test one where I just put a piece of acrylic pipe on a uh, plate on this and I take a large ring magnet or a big disc magnet that's three inches in diameter and push it in here, put a couple of, uh, put a rope through here and then I could just go over out and swing it over. But what I wanted you to realize is that's only covering three inches of space. This is giving me about a 20 inch span. You could mount this on the front of something. If you had a sweeper, you could make one a little bigger. If you had one of those ride around sweepers and you had a big parking lot to take care of, you could do a lot of things to make this idea work for you. So at Super Magnet Man, we hope you've learned something from this and we are delighted to have this chance to share with you something that actually we needed and makes sense for a lot of other people.